another video and this time I'm starting a new series about uh, building a computer from scratch based on a Z80 CPU. It's uh, gonna be a series that goes alongside the rest of the videos that I make. Some videos are gonna relate to this uh, build showing the different components, how they work and what they do um, just like I did up until now. Um, but um, let's, um, for a first uh, video, I thought it would be nice as an opening to show just the Z80 CPU itself um, in a sort of um, um, testing mode just to see that it's working correctly. So uh, before we start, let's um, see what we have on the breadboard here. I have a 555 timer and it's generating um, uh, pulses to the CPU, to the clock at about one, uh, one hertz, a little bit more. Um, we have here the Z80 CPU and um, it's the latest version, it's the one that can operate on a 6 uh, megahertz um, uh, clock. Uh, here I have a set a reset button so I can just um, reset the CPU and it will start counting uh, from, uh, from uh, zero. Um, the way that it's set up, it's um, basically just like all the rest of the videos that you saw up until now, the different uh, chips, how to utilize them. This uh, CPU works uh, the same, only it's more complex and it has much, much uh, more functions. Um, here I've uh, set it up uh, right now to carry out to execute no operation command, so it basically doesn't do anything. It it just uh, it thinks right now that it's connected to a memory, so um, it will um, it it receives this input into the data bus, and I'm going to show this uh, a bit uh, in a moment on the on the computer. But uh, it receives all low on the data bus, and that is a no operation command. And what it basically does, it keeps counting up in the address bar, address bus, sorry, um, so that it goes to the next address in the memory and hopefully receive a new command. But since it's hardwired low everything, then it just continues to cycle through no operation and uh, counting on the address bus here until it reaches the end of the count and it will reset. So uh, that's just to show that the CPU is working and it is doing its job correctly. It's going through the address bus, going higher to the next uh, value inside the memory. And uh, everything that is going to be in this build, I covered it up, so, uh, up until now in the different videos. So for example, how to read and write into memory, how to... Uh, how a, a, a data bus uh, and a bus configuration in general works and uh, different chips that are going to be used here like uh, line decoders and transparent latches uh, all these I covered and there are some chips that I haven't covered yet I'm going to show you the design in a moment uh, just going back to this um, to this uh, command that we're setting here let's uh, look at the uh, computer and the data sheet how it looks like so here we are um, looking on the, of, on the data sheet of the Z80 CPU, the user manual, and it has everything that you need to know about how to operate this chip, all the commands that you can put it, all the states, all everything that you need to know. It's quite, quite an extensive uh, piece, as you can see, 300 pages of instructions. But uh, we're just going to look at some uh, little things here. For example, um, the no operation command that we just saw in, in the video. And here you can see what, uh, what values I've set in the data bus. And that is all zero, so basically all lows. And uh, the CPU doesn't carry out anything. Um, here it gives us some information. It will carry this command out in uh, one machine cycle which is made out of four timing cycles and at four megahertz it will carry out in uh, this command in one microsecond and uh, here it shows some uh, other information that right now it doesn't this command doesn't affect it but uh, if you look at other commands then uh, we can see the how we need to configure them which uh, what value in each position, each bit uh, will mean which registers it will affect 
and here again uh, how many cycles it will take to execute this command and um, if you want to learn a bit about the timing um, you can also read this here so you can go to the timing uh, overview and it explains here exactly how uh, the timing here works and you saw that in the video so uh, for example for the no operation command here you can see we have one uh, timer cycle so that's an on off cycle and four of these will make up one machine cycle for an opcode fetch and that is what we're carrying it out now with the no operation uh, command so we're just uh, carrying out four timer cycles and every four timer cycles um, the address bus uh, value goes higher uh, by one um, just to cover a bit about the design that I'm going to use for the Z80 the design for the computer that I've decided to go uh, with I searched I googled it and I searched for a while there are many designs that you can choose from some are uh, simpler and they just involve uh, basically connecting uh, this uh, CPU to an 80 mega for example and you can run everything through the 80 mega but I uh, want to make something that I can also produce more material for the for the channel something that is nice and, uh, and expandable and I went for uh, this design and uh, you can see it um, here's a link and I will also place the link to this design in, uh, in the in the description of this video but uh, just a, a quick overview over the the schematics of this design which is which I find it really nice so here you can see um, this is the main board by the way and it has some expansions we have here an option for a system bus and we can create different cards for it um, here we have the Z80 CPU and uh, what you just saw are the A0 to A5 uh, address bus outputs here um, we have the data bus where we feed in our 8-bit uh, command that you, you saw, the no operation command um, the ROM chip, the RAM chip, you can see here the data uh, bus, the bus configuration uh, the way it's set and um, where we have the inputs, the inputs come from the ROM and from the RAM and they also come from the input uh, output, the serial connection and the keyboard and here we have the outputs that go from the address bus and they go back to the ROM to get the next address and also back to the RAM they also split here to the system bus and out uh, also to the LCD display um, it's a it's a nice uh, nice design and um, it has here the the schematics for the system bus and we have here the schematics for the VGA card so you can use an MDA based the 9 pin uh, VGA uh, screen um, here we have the sound card and it has um, a, a UART uh, connection and it's a, it's a nice nice design I think it's gonna be a nice build it's gonna take a while um, for it to, to be finished but uh, I'm gonna take it step by step and hopefully every month set a new video showing a different part of the build first on breadboard and hopefully uh, if I have the resources then I will also transfer it to um, the print plates but um, that's it that's the first video in the series and um, if you like my videos and if you want to follow this series then uh, consider subscribing other than that um, I hope you like this explanation and uh, thank you for watching I'll see you next time